1932 S. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, arguably no other issue in the Washington Quarter series is more iconic than the 1932 S. Yes, the 1932 D is more challenging in high grades, but this San Francisco Quarter claims the lowest mintage in the set, 408,000 coins, and is nearly as rare in upper mint state levels as its Denver counterpart. The interiors of this old gem remain frosty and brilliant, while speckled iridescence occurs peripherally. Razor sharp detail on Washington's curls and the eagle's breast. It was sold for $34,800.1965 Lincoln cent struck on a silver dime planchet. Graded in Mint State 65 by NGC. Clad dimes typically weigh 2.27 grams. Although 1,965 dated dimes are clad, 1,964 dated dimes in 90% silver alloy were struck in great numbers during 1965, perhaps to use up leftover stock, or to deter hoarding. This lustrous, untoned, and sharply struck wrong planchet error has only trivial surface imperfections. It was sold for $9,987.50. 1957 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus Red by PCGS. According to NGC, this is yet another issue that is quite common at the MS 65 66 RD level, which, at one time, was considered quite suitable by advanced collectors. Only the more recent registry competition has highlighted the scarcity of pieces grading MS 67 RD. This plus designated gem ended up selling for $2,650. 1920 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 Plus Red by PCGS. 1920 D. Lincoln Cent in MS 65 Plus Red condition. According to Heritage Auctions, despite a substantial mintage of more than 49 million pieces, the 1920 D. Lincoln Cent is a scarce issue at the MS 65 grade level, and finer coins are prime condition rarities. This plus graded gem exhibits sharply detailed design elements throughout. It was sold for $2,504.88 with buyer's fee. 1939 Proof Washington Quarter. Graded as PR68 by NGC. According to NGC, proof sales steadily grew from year to year, and the net mintage for this issue was 8,750 pieces. These were selected from the 11,902 struck, many of which were unfit, and the traditional mintage figure also includes coins destroyed during assays. Four dies each of the obverse and reverse were employed. As in other years, the net mintage of proof quarter dollars determines the number of complete proof sets possible, since this denomination was the one least often ordered. The number of gem survivors rose proportionately with the increasing sales, and this is the first modern proof quarter for which a generous population of PF67 coins exists. This PR68 gem was bargained for $2,000. 1977 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR70 Deep Cameo by PCGS. PR70 is high's achievable grade for a proof coin and indicates that it is absolutely perfect coin with immaculate preservation and striking level and outstanding eye appeal. PCGS reports overall 70 proof cents with Deep Cameo designation in this high-end grade. This specimen was sold for $1,293.75 with buyer's fee. 1949 S. Roosevelt Dime. Graded in Mint State 67 plus full bands by PCGS. One of the pivotal dates in the series, the 1949 S. Roosevelt Dime ranks second in scarcity only to the Philadelphia Mint's 1955 production of 12,450,181 pieces. Despite a minting of 13,510,000 pieces, this coin cannot be deemed truly rare. Nevertheless, it stands out as one of the more captivating pieces in the series and carries a premium compared to the other, more frequently encountered, years. This plus designated specimen fetched a sum of $1,020 on February 6, 2024. 1938 D. Jefferson Nickel with Full Steps. According to Heritage Auctions, this first-year Denver issue is highly sought after in high grade, but Full Steps examples are scarce finer than MS-66 and rare in MS-68. Pristine, Lustrous surfaces of this superb gem yield dusky amber gold toning with iridescent wisps throughout. It ended up selling for $33,600. 
1878 cc Morgan dollar. Graded in mint state 67 by NGC. The Carson City Mint put its best foot forward in 1878, producing more than 2.2 million Morgan dollars despite the dies not arriving until mid-April. As a rule, 1,878 cc Morgans are well struck. This first year issue becomes scarce at the premium gem uncirculated level and it is rare any finer, allowing this superb gem to rank among the finest certified by either PCGS or NGC. Brilliant, frosty surfaces are virtually pristine and highly lustrous. The CC mint mark leans right in a long die line from a leaf tip to the O and one help attribute the late die state VAM 9 die pair. It ended up selling for $31,200 on February 8, 2024. Nineteen sixty four D Jefferson nickel with repunched mint mark D over D. This cherry pickers variety, which shows the mint mark repunched south. The repunching is clear with a loop but may escape detection by the unaided eye. Each side is brilliant and satiny, with slight reflectivity discerned in the fields. A few tiny marks are not bothersome. Although the steps of Monticello exhibit the typical softness, this coin is otherwise well struck and pleasing. It was sold for $19,800. 1909 SVDB Lincoln Cent. Graded in mint state 66 red by PCGS. Despite being the most plentiful mint marked issue of its era, the 1909 SVDB is always in high demand, especially when fully struck in high mint state grades such as this vibrant red premium gem. Original yellowish orange color adorns finely grained surfaces that emit excellent mint luster, while the strike is needle sharp throughout both sides, including the all important VDB initials. There are no distracting marks and carbon is limited to only a handful of microscopic, pinpoint obverse flex. It fetched a price of $15,600. 1976 Bicentennial Eisenhower Dollar. Type 2 variety. Graded as MS67 Plus by PCGS. Both sides have satin luster with gold and pale blue toning on the obverse. The reverse displays violet, gold, and blue toning in both the obverse and reverse feature a bold strike with a high degree of eye appeal. It was sold for $10,800. 1955 Lincoln Cent with double die obverse. Graded as MS64 red and brown by PCGS. Statiny surfaces of this choice mint state coin display a good blend of copper gold and olive chestnut, the former color occupying the protected portions of the fields. The coin is also well struck and displays minimal marks. CAC endorsement adds to the eye appeal. It was sold for $9,600. 1992 D Lincoln sent with close AM graded in mint state 66 red by PCGS. This major modern scent rarity features AM in America touching. Each side is fully red with swirling luster and full strike detail. It was sold for $9,600. 1996 D. Kennedy Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. D stands for Denver Mint. According to PCGS, the 1996 D. Kennedy Half Dollar is a common issue and can be bought very inexpensively in circulated grades up to about MS66 condition. In MS67 it is a little tougher to find but for a small premium one can be purchased very easily. In MS68 condition they are scarce and command a much higher premium than MS67 coins of this date and mint mark. This specimen was sold for $312. 1943 Bronze Lincoln Cent. Famous wartime mint error. Graded as AU50 by PCGS. During World War II, Copper was in high demand for military purposes, so the U.S. Mint switched the composition of the Lincoln scent from copper to zinc-coated steel in 1943. However, a small number of bronze planchets, or coin blanks, were left over from 1942 and inadvertently used to strike a small number of 1943 Lincoln scents. This mistake resulted in the production of a very limited quantity of bronze Lincoln scents for that year. This AU example has strong design definition with sharp hair and beard detail on the obverse, and full wheat ears on the reverse. A few trivial handling marks are noted on each side, but they are of no concern. The surfaces are smooth with a blend of golden tan and light brown. An impressive example of a famous mint error. This specimen was sold for $240,000. 
Next up. 1920s Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 Red by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, surfaces range from copper gold to orange and reddish violet, never sliding into the truly cool hues that lead similarly colorful coins to be called red and brown or brown. Luster is luminous with a degree of swirl on the reverse, and while the detail on Lincoln's portrait is characteristically soft, this coin's near absence of carbon and distracting marks makes for an excellent coin. It was sold for $44,062.50. Moving on with this, 1915 D. Lincoln sent in Mint State 67. In 2005, David Longy wrote in his complete guide to Lincoln cents, as the population figures suggest, it, the 1915 D, is readily available in all degrees of color, although few of the red or red slash brown coins are true gems. Similarly, Bowers noted in his guide book of Lincoln cents, Mint State coins are seen with frequency in the marketplace, but gems with original color, no spots, and sharply struck are rare. Indeed, collectors should have little trouble locating an example in MS64 or MS65 with red surfaces, and even premium gems are offered usually multiple times a year. Surface preservation is unmatched, and the visual appeal is equally good. Aside from softness on the lower part of AM in America, the relief elements are fully brought up. Light copper-orange color paints each side with shimmering satin mint luster. It was sold for $43,200. Nineteen twenty seven S Lincoln sent in mint state sixty five plus. According to Heritage Auctions, the nineteen twenty seven S sent is a challenging issue to acquire in full red condition, and at the gem level, such pieces are major rarities. Satiny luster abounds on each side, yielding orange gold, rose, and faint greenish hues, all of which fall into the red color category. Abrasions are nearly non existent, and only a few microscopic specks are visible. It ended up selling for thirty six thousand dollars. 1969s Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded as AU58 by PCGS. The 1969s double die obverse is visible without magnification, akin to the 1955 double die obverse Lincoln sent. A general rule suggests that more visibility of the doubling equates to greater popularity. Another key to popularity is a listing in the guide book. Varieties such as this double die that are listed in the popular red book have substantially greater popularity. This example has a trace of wear on the highest design points, while retaining splashes of original orange mint luster on its olive surfaces. Minor carbon specks are visible, including a few larger spots on each side. It was sold for $25,300. 1932D Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 plus red by PCGS. Luminous copper-orange surfaces exhibit rose and reddish accents that heighten the visual appeal substantially. Both sides are effectively flawless and awash in shimmering satin mint luster. Well struck with a single carbon speck in the right obverse field. It ended up selling for $25,200. $1983 Lincoln cent struck on a copper planchet. Rare transitional error penny. Reminiscent of the famous 1943 copper cent. Though the zinc-plated steel cent was introduced in 1982, a small number of copper cent planchets found their way between 1983 dies. Perhaps the planchet lodged in a crevice of a mint bin and was freed some time later. An orange-red and apple-green example that has a good strike and minor obverse abrasions. It ended up selling for $23,500. 1940 proof Jefferson nickel with reverse of 1938. According to Ron Guth and Bill Gale in their 2002 edition of United States Proof Sets and Mint Sets, the reverse of 1938, with wavy steps on Monticello, is currently approximately 50 times rarer than the reverse of 1940 variety. Ice blue, pink grapefruit, magenta, and apricot colors endow this well-struck and seemingly unimprovable PR68 specimen. Even close examination with a loop fails to reveal any marks, hairlines, spots, or other distractions on either side an amazingly original piece that ended up selling for $28,750. Here is 1922s piece dollar struck 15% off center. Graded in Mint State 65 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, struck 15% off center toward 330 with a wide arc of unstruck surface centered at 830. 
The devices are complete but the tops of the tie in Liberty and the Erica in America are partly off the flan. The right side legends exhibit metal flow toward the rim. The centers are intricately struck, as often seen on off-center error since no collar could impede compression of the dies. Beautifully preserved, and attractively toned in ocean blue and chestnut gold shades. It was sold for $39,656.25. Next. 1938 Lincoln sent in Mint State 68 Red. A superb gem from Gerald L. Martin collection. According to NGC, coin production dipped in 1938, as the United States experienced a setback from the economic recovery period of 1933-36. The Philadelphia Mint struck just over half the number of cents in 1938 that it had the previous year. Enough rolls were saved of this issue to make it nearly as common as surrounding dates, but prices have long been higher in the Mint State grades. This MS-68 red gem fetched a sum of $10,518.75 with buyer's fee on February 4, 2024. <music> 1942 Lincoln cent struck on a dime planchet. Graded as AU-58 by Annex. This satiny World War II off-metal error is attractively toned golden brown and ocean blue. Free from consequential contact. The strike is soft on the O in one and the high points of the portrait aligned with the collar near 1 o'clock, such that the L in Liberty and portions of E Pluribus are off the flan. It was sold for $11,750. 1950 Roosevelt Dime with full bands. Graded as MS-68 FB by PCGS. Silvery centers are larger on the obverse which seeds to cinnamon sprinkles near the rim, the reverse shows a broad swatch of fiery orange-red. Both sides are free of even the smallest distraction, as expected. It was sold for $8,812.50. 1954 Proof Washington Quarter. Graded as PR68 plus Deep Cameo by PCGS. According to NGC, cameo pieces, while still a small percentage of the total, are readily available to the advanced collector. Ultra cameo specimens remain rare though not nearly so much as for earlier dates. As in 1936-42, proof sets of 1950-55 were packaged with the coins in individual plastic sleeves that were stapled together and shipped in cardboard boxes. The slightly brittle plastic used through 1953 was replaced with a more flexible one in 1954 that provided better protection from contact, yet it also toned the coins more readily. This elusive gem ended up selling for $7,593.75 with buyer's fee. 1995 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in Mint State 69 read by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 1995 double die is the last of its kind. Late in the 1990s the Philadelphia and Denver Mint began using a single hub technique. The single hub technique would only strike all dies once, therefore, eliminating the possibility of striking major double die coins. The 1995 double die is dramatic enough that it can be seen with the naked eye. When the coins were initially discovered, they were commanding as much as $300 for each raw example. As time went by, many more examples were discovered and the premiums dropped to as low as $20 or less for each coin. The 1995 double die Lincoln sent is still a very neat coin. It is the most dramatic double die for all circulating coins from 1995 to date. This elusive specimen was sold for $1,968.75 with buyer's fee on February 4, 2024. 1968 D. Kennedy half dollar struck 40% off center. Graded in Mint State 63 by NGC. According to Stax Bowers, the off center strike disappears from the planchet to the right on the obverse, so Kennedy's face and most of his head is present, but the date shows just the one, along with the mint mark. Struck on a 40% silver planchet, which limits the date options even if there was no confirming evidence. It ended up selling for $940. Number 7. 1964 D. Lincoln sent. Graded in Mint State 67 plus read by NGC. According to Jamie Hernandez from PCGS, the 1964 D is common in circulated grades up to MS-64. In MS-65 they are a little harder to find but probably many still in original and even open roles. In MS-66 condition they become scarce with possibly under 1,000 available combined between raw and certified examples. 
There are probably more in original roles but getting harder to find. There are probably very few if any at all in open roles as these are usually pulled out and sold as singles or are sent in to be graded. In MS-67 it is one of the tougher dates from the 1960s especially from the Denver Mint. End of quote. Plus designated specimens and anything grading higher is considered rare. This elusive specimen ended up selling for $1,321.88 with buyer's fee. Number 6. 1951 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 plus read by PCGS and further confirmed by CAC. According to PCGS, the 1951 S. Lincoln Cent is common up to MS-66 condition. In MS-67 it becomes much scarcer. Examples grading above MS-67 are scarce overall but with enough searching, examples in this condition can be found. PCGS reports 53 specimens in Mint State 67 plus with just two numerically finer. This lustrous example ended up selling for $2,418.75 with buyer's fee on January 28, 2024. Number 5. 1974 D. Eisenhower Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, this golden-tinged beauty is exceptionally well-preserved for a circulation strike Eisenhower Dollar. It is among the 10 finest certified by PCGS from a mintage of 45,517,000 pieces. It was sold for $5,520. Number 4. 1976D Bicentennial Quarter Struck on a Dime Planchet. Graded in Mint State 64 by NGC. This is an extremely rare error coin with fewer than 4 pieces known to exist. Boldly lustrous surfaces, fully brilliant and with no marks worthy of mention. Nicely centered, but just slightly high, giving room for the date and mint mark to be visible, if not complete. Sharp central detail. A visually dramatic error due to the large difference in sizes between the quarter dies and dime planchet. It was sold for $6,462.50. Number 3. 1959 Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. This virtually pristine beauty really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Bright, vivid surfaces possess full mint color in deep orange. The devices are sharply struck and possess a soft satin texture that contrasts markedly with deep reflectivity in the fields. Both sides are pristine in appearance, as befits the assigned grade. It ended up selling for $19,200. Number 2. 1945 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, this awe-inspiring superb gem offers not only superior technical quality, but also outstanding eye appeal. The peripheries are splashed with vivid multicolored toning that gives way to softer powder blue and antique silver iridescence in the centers. Smooth enough to please even the most discerning numismatist, we anticipate strong competition for this extraordinary coin between advanced Washington Quarter enthusiasts. It was sold for $20,400. Number 1. 1917 Lincoln Cent with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 66 read by PCGS. Here is an essentially pristine representative of this coveted double die variety. Vivid mint orange color is as bright and fresh as the day the coin was produced. The fully struck devices are enhanced by frosty mint luster that extends throughout the fields beautiful to look at and technically exceptional. The 1917 FS101 is one of the most pronounced double die obverse varieties in the entire Lincoln Cent series, with sharp doubling to the digits in the date and the letters God we trust in the motto. This true rarity ended up selling for $21,600. Spectacularly toned 1951 proof Roosevelt dime. Graded as PR68 plus deep cameo by PCGS. Only 57,500 proof sets were issued in 1951, the year after the Mint resumed its commercial proof set offerings. Few survivors have been seen with deep cameo contrast, and coins in extremely high grade tend to have brilliant surfaces. This magnificent plus graded PR68 specimen displays vivid shades of burnt orange and cobalt blue toning, over sharply detailed design elements and deeply reflective fields that contrast dramatically with the frosty devices. The stunning cameo effect is most unusual with richly toned coins. I appeal is tremendous. 
It was sold for $18,800. 1956-proof Roosevelt Dime. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. In his 1991 reference on 1950-1970 era-proof coinage, Rick Tomaska made the observation that still holds true today. Because heavily frosted 1956 Franklin halves are not terribly difficult to locate, many collectors assume the same must be true for the other denominations. This is simply not the case. A glance at the population numbers verifies this statement. The 1956 dime with deep cameo contrast and at the PR69 grade level is a rarity. This superb gem fetched a sum of $13,200. 1947 Roosevelt Dime. Graded as MS-68 full bands by PCGS. According to NGC, this issue is plentiful in mint state through the grade of MS-67, but but FT examples are a small minority of the total number of survivors. The typical 1947 S dime is softly struck from heavily worn and blurry dyes. Such dyes were often repolished to remove their erosion lines, and this resulted in proof-like coins having very shallow or partially effaced features. This MS-68 full bands gem was sold for $10,407.38 with buyer's fee. 1967 Roosevelt Dime from Special Mint Set. Graded as SP-68 Deep Cameo. According to NGC, in 1964, the United States faced a coinage shortage. Due to this, the mint ceased production of normal proof coins, which required significantly more work with dye and planchet preparation. As a substitute, they created the special mint set, which contained coins that weren't quite proofs, but were clearly of a higher quality than normal circulation coins. This allowed the mint to place more resources into producing coins for circulation. These special sets were issued in 1965, 1966 and 1967 before normal proof production started once more in 1968. This rare gem ended up selling for $10,068.75 with buyer's fee. 1964 SMS Roosevelt Dime. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. The 1964 special mint sets that started appearing at auction decades ago have an interesting texture. They don't have the deep proof-like, almost proof, quality of the 1967 SMS coins. They are more similar to the 1965 SMS pieces, but lack the reflectivity seen even on those specimens. Speculation is that some 50 sets were produced, many of which have been broken up in the last 10 years. This dime is lightly toned, intricately detailed, and displays extensive dye polishing. It can be distinguished by a tiny rim imperfection at 9 o'clock on the obverse. It was sold for $6,600. 1954 S. Roosevelt Dime. Graded as MS-68 Plus by PCGS. 1954 S. Dimes were widely hoarded at the time of issue, and gems are plentiful through MS-67. Only a small percentage of these merit the FT designation, due to the tendency of San Francisco to run its dyes way too long until they suffered loss of detail. This specimen was sold for $5,906.25 with buyer's fee. 1963 Roosevelt Dime in Mint State 67 plus full bands. The mintage of the 1963 Roosevelt Dime was an enormous 123 million plus pieces, but most certified examples are no better than gem condition due to small surface marks, as a rule. This elusive specimen was sold for $5,581.25. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the world of rare Roosevelt Dimes. Check your change, sift through your collection, and who knows what treasures you might find. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coin discoveries. Happy collecting, and may your change be filled with unexpected wealth. Until next time, see you in the next video.